Surely only somebody who works security could possibly answer which of the Canadian NHL arenas is the easiest to sneak into. Yet somehow, this dirtbag has all of the information needed to give an accurate answer. If you're gonna be using my methods, don't forget that it requires you to give back to that community equal to the value of your ticket. Let's go. What's comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's bad. What's in comedy? I've decided to list these Canadian rinks from the most difficult to sneak into to the easiest, and have even asked an expert in security design to give his insight on their setups, because occasionally it's nice to have somebody on this channel who knows what they're talking about. You can easily watch the full heist for every one of these rinks by clicking the playlist that Future Matt has attached above. For the trickiest arena on this list, we must head west of the Canadian Rockies to the humble province, whose slogan is the best place on earth. Vancouver. I've actually made a second video about sneaking into the Canucks barn because that day leading up to the heist was hands down the craziest of my life. But for our purposes, on the night, I was running out of time to puck drop and completely out of options. I decided to take the staff elevator in a rink adjacent bar for what must have been at least the third time. I had met quite a few staff members in this elevator over the hour, but this time the individual I run into literally walks me into the concourse as if they had been waiting for me all night. I felt like one of those people who get off an airplane only to be greeted by a driver who has their name written on a Bristol board ready to take them absolutely anywhere. For every one of these heists, I tell myself there's always a way in. But had it not been for that angel, I may not have found it. Our security expert suggests educating arena staff with some security awareness training on a regular basis would go a long way as security deployment and design are worthless if employees are welcoming in the Trojan horse. Calgary. The Saddle Dome is the only Canadian arena that opens the doors 90 minutes before puck drop, giving fans time to get inside, find their seats, and purchase concessions for the price of their child's college fund. Typically, I'm inside a rink within 45 minutes of arriving. However, this one took me an hour 15. Every entrance had pretty efficient scanners on the right mark. Unfortunately, I'm greasier than Danny Zuko and was able to exploit a tiny mistake from what I am told was a new staff member, which means it's not their fault but those who trained them. Our security expert suggests organizing the chaos in the main entrance with stanchions to give the scanners in the doorways a chance to do their job. Worth noting, I had already snuck into this rink by waltzing in during the afternoon, but left to sneak back in later because it felt like cheating. Winnipeg. If this was a list of the most stressful venues to sneak into, the Canada Life Center, sweeps the Oscars with all other venues forced to say, we're just happy to be nominated. This was my last Canadian rink, so the heat was on. I had inside sources telling me the security office had my YouTube thumbnails up on a wall, like they're the FBI trying to catch the Zodiac sneaker. It is nice to finally have fans, even if these ones are constructing shrines, but despite all that attention, I still got in. Canada Life Center is the first venue on this list to put too much faith in a retractable belt barrier. Like if you use those poles to keep a herd of animals within a specific space, they will not be there in the morning, regardless of the species. Like even a turtle would be just on the other side of the threshold. Those poles can guide, but they can't contain. Our expert says use stanchions to at least make an effort to funnel people to the ticket scanners or else you're leaving it up to the honor system. Toronto. Unlike the other venues on this list, I've actually gotten into Scotiabank Arena two separate ways. The one with actual heist footage is quite similar to Winnipeg as both require simple bobs under a belt between stanchions. Although compared to Winnipeg, this bob is a joke. In the jet sneak, I may have had a couple feet to make my move unseen as that's how far the scanner was away from the door frame. Here in Toronto, there's like 15 feet or more of options. Even more ridiculous is that I have a recent comment on that video saying, this method still worked months later for game six of the playoffs. Our security expert adds, move those scanners right in front of the door. One scan equals one entry into the venue. Cues before and after the scanner 
are irrelevant since you're waiting either way. Ottawa. I love all the wholesome arena staff in Canada's capital. Real heartbreaker here because this is the only rink that I released content on how to sneak into it. The arena made adjustments, then I returned and was still able to get in the exact same way. Nobody kinder than the Ottawa greeters that welcome you into every game, which makes not hiring security to back them up irresponsible. This is a hockey rink. You got stars on the team. You got to protect them. Gretzky had Dave Semenko. Laflamme had Sean William Scott. And the Blueberry Bulldogs have, well, the Blueberry Bulldogs. Our experts suggest a full design change. The box office should be accessible through an outside door and not once you're deep in the belly of the beast. That way tickets could be scanned at the main doors, followed by security. Then once inside, freedom to go about the venue because there is no amount of scanners and stanchions that will make checking tickets while heading upstairs sensible. Edmonton. The way I snuck into this rink was so blatantly obvious that even in the moment I thought to myself, I could sneak in a bus full of fans through here. And I'm not the only one who noticed. A fan commented on this heist that they snuck into nine Oilers games this year using this exact method. How many years has this been the setup in Rogers Place? I highly doubt we're the only ones who's taken advantage of this serious lack of care from security. It was so poorly guarded. Part of me thought, it was a sting operation to catch me in the act. Our expert says they invest in those massive gates, but then are too cheap to hire security to guard them. If you don't organize chaos for the scanners, they will be exploited every time. He recommends a technique used in airports called snaking the line, which allows a maximum amount of people in a small space whilst also keeping control. Mariah. Now I know what you're thinking, Matt, how could the Bell Center possibly be the easiest arena in Canada to sneak into when it's the only one that you didn't get inside? Well, that's technically not true. Security illegally grabbed me off the street and forced me inside. So not only did I get in without making a move, but if charged for trespassing, having never been in a Bell Center space that requires a ticket, Double Jeopardy states I can't be charged for the same crime twice. Or at least that's what that Ashley Judd movie has led me to believe. Therefore, next time I can just walk right in and they can't do a thing. Not much easier than that, which is why it's number one. Well that, and having the Santra Bell as the easiest arena to sneak in in Canada is guaranteed to upset old Mitchie. Come on. Please don't forget to...